Hey guys, it's your boy D Blitz here with another gameplay. Today we're going to be playing some Modern Warfare 2 Domination on Estate. And this is my third nuke. My last nuke I got was on Rundown and I was playing Free For All. I get killed right here. But uh, I was going to upload that video, but when I had gone to get the footage, it like messed up the video. So I lost that video, unfortunately. Uh, but. On this map, I'm using the Scar H with FMJ. I've got Scavenger, Stopping Power, and Ninja. And I've got the Claymore, and I think my secondary is a Spaz with Red Dot, I believe. But uh, I noticed that they take B right here, and I saw one of my friends or one of my allies get killed. And I noticed them running around in there, so I'm going to go where none of my teammates are and flank around the back of them. Now there is quite a bit of camping in this, but it was there were some times where it was very stressful and I got really close to dying a couple of times. But I hear them shooting with their suppressors and I'm trying to play it smart. And right here I hear a guy running around up there. So I'm trying to play it smart. I see him right here and I notice he drops down and I go for the shot. But I know that this guy right here is going to run after me considering he saw me shoot. And I get lucky and take him out. And I have a feeling that like their whole team's right here. And there actually are a few people here. So I try to move around so that way they can't pinpoint exactly where I'm at. And this guy's painkiller. He almost kills me. But I got lucky and hit him in the head with a spaz red dot. But I absolutely love the scar with FMJ and stopping power. It just it just absolutely overpowers. And I get my Harriers right here. So I'm going to lay down a Claymore and go back here. And I don't know what this dude was doing. But luckily I got him and got his scav pack. So I'm going to go ahead and call in my Harriers. And I was thinking of dropping it down on A, but I was like, eh, if they're around B still, why not? And I get two sets of hit markers, so I know they got plenty of people over here. And I'm just going to keep my eyes open behind me so I don't get flanked. And my Claymore gets a hit marker, and my Harriers just going to town. It does quite a bit of kills. This is probably one of the best Harriers I've had. It just goes in. And I'm actually rocking the Harrier, AC, and Nuke. And I usually don't use the AC or Chopper Gunner because I don't have the skills necessary to use them. Like, I, I'm really horrible with them. So I just normally rock Pavlo. But uh, this game is also very laggy, and you'll notice that in some points. And as you can see right there, I'm horrible with an AC-130. Alrighty, and now that we got two points, I'm like, oh, okay, now they're all gonna be spawning back here. I got a good little double. And there's a lot of points that I could have killed a lot more people, but yet again, my skill level is very bad with these. I see this guy spawn, so I'm going to go ahead and try and take him out. And I get him. And right here, I was about to shoot, and I got so close, but it would have gave me a double. And I'm actually 20 and 1 right now, since I died right at the beginning. So I'm going to just go chill over here, and I see this guy pick him off. Now I'm 21 and 1. And this is when my heart starts racing and I'm, I really start camping because I'm trying to play it safe to get a nuke. So, and we get Harriers in. So I know we're gonna be dominating the sky a little bit because I do not have cold blooded. So I'm just glad it was our Harrier and not an enemies. So I'm keeping my eye open over there and I was thinking about gonna go ahead and flank up this way towards A since they were spawning all around that greenhouse 
but I get to about to right up here to where the stairs are and then I get to thinking uh, if I run up this way there's a very good chance they could be camping and kill me or I could get hit from the house and then I notice one of my teammates gets killed over by B so I'm gonna pull back and then go the long way all the way around to B and they've got stingers but luckily I've used both of my other kill streaks already. So I'm just keeping my eyes peeled. And I know going up here is a risk because I can easily get sniped. So I'm just trying to find cover as much as possible. And I, I'm thinking of pushing up into the house. And I see bullets flying. And my team's spawning here, so... I know I'm pretty well covered as far as getting flanked. And I couldn't see anybody from here. And then he calls in a UAV right at the right time, so I pull up my map to see where they all are. And I don't see a good clear shot anywhere over here. So I'm thinking of flanking over here, and I see this guy. And this guy comes so close to killing me right there. And I got really lucky, so I'm going to lay down a claymore right here, and I'm going to run into this house and see if I can get anybody. And then I look upstairs into the balcony, and I see a guy run right into that corner. So I go for it, and I end up rescuing a teammate. So I pull back. I'm trying to move as much as possible so they can't pinpoint exactly where I'm at. I'm 23 and 1 at this point, and it's lagging like crazy. But I'm just trying to play it safe. A whole lot of camping going on, but my nerves are just everywhere right now. And then right here, I hear him call in an enemy UAV. And I just I have to hightail it back considering I don't have cold-blooded so I'm gonna push all the way back towards B to make sure I don't get killed and I hear all types of war going on <laughs> by the cabin and there's some lag again but my claymore gets a kill right here so I know that they're starting to come this way towards where I'm at and I get stunned right here and I was like oh my goodness and here's two guys I go for and I get the nuke. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.